before we get into it, I just want to say, um, you know, something that um, obviously shook, you know, the entire world. Uh, R.I.P. to X and Peep, two of the most musically fearless and um, inspirational artists of our generation. And, you know, two guys that really, you know, pushed us creatively to continue to think outside the box. And this song that we made with Juice, um, Legends, is a, a song that pays homage to them and the musical legacies that they left behind. I usually have an answer to the question, but this time I'm going to be quiet. quiet. This time. I think that was like the first or second beat we played and he immediately just said load it up and this is like five minutes after meeting him he just like goes in the booth and kind of just like freestyles this entire song and that's like the first song we did with him My mind is foggy. I'm so Yeah, the day that we made this beat, all of us were just in this room and Russ started playing this uh, this progression and uh, all of us just said, you know, put it down. That's hot. Right, exactly. Yeah. Now we just started messing around and we got this. So after we put down the you know regular guitar take and quantized it, usually we start by putting RC retro color on it. And we just go through the different presets and turn some knobs until it sounds good. So So after that we added halftime, which is pretty much like our version of gross beat. So for this, we put the one bar setting on and uh, brought down the mix about to 64, like 50%. After we put down the guitar, Russ uh, played this bass line in. Yeah, so after we put the bass guitar down, uh, quantized this one again and uh, just put the same retro color plug in that was on the guitar just to give it the same effect. In this instance, Russ was playing bass and guitar parts, but at the same time, I was messing around just trying to find a sound. It's the Prophet 12, um, and out of all the keyboards that we have, this is like our go-to. This sound that was in Bank 2, patch 57. So for the next sound, you know, just going through the profit again. Patch 57 again, but I just switched it to bank four. So this is actually the first keyboard that we got, and we do a lot of our piano organ um, sounds on here. Just thought it needed something in the higher range. So after the melodies, we usually just go straight to the drums. This is usually how we do the hi-hats. Just like layer them to, to make a groove so it's not just straight 16th notes. The next thing we added was the snares. Yeah, so this snare has a H delay on it. We usually use H delays on like hi-hats or snares just to give it a little bit more movement. We'll layer like hi-hats and snares, different percussion things just to make it to groove more. It's like easier to dance to. There's more things for your brain to like catch on to, to just be like interesting. Like it's more ear candy things. So the next three things we added were just more percussion things, a crash, a hit, another just like random percussion thing that we have. 
So after we put the percussion things in, then we start laying in the 808s. If we have like live bass and a few different low frequency things in a song, we'll start just carving out pieces for the other basses to sit. The live bass in the song is around this frequency. So we just cut that out, cut out a little bit of the low, cut out a little bit of the top end, because that's kind of like where the other bass is going to sit up here. So when we play them together, they don't crash. The last thing in this track was just the uh, the kick. That's the beat. That's the Legends beat. That whole day was just feeling out the vibe, and like feeling out the energy and, you know, all of us talking about it and saying all the things of like what X meant to us and what Pete meant to us. It's two artists that are gonna inspire, you know, many generations after this one. Um, and already left such an impact on this current generation. Like the day that we did this song was the actual day that the ex passed. You know, I think we all kind of just felt the energy in the room and thought that this beat would be perfect for the landscape of what was going on that day.